love that one. That's so cute. I wish I could live there and keep out. Those are cool. Ew, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Mystery meat canning, yeah, that's, that's creepy. Creatures Pet Shop, it kind of reminds me of Harry Potter when they get their familiars. Yeah, that pumpkin house, that's definitely my favorite. Yeti Lodge. Supernatural yard decor. It's kind of like 90s yard decoration style. I like that. Cute. Ooh, wonder what crime he did. He died, that was his crime. Here's for cracks. Just the Bath and Body Works style things that they've got going on this year. Ooh, material girl. <laughs> Velvet pumpkins. Ooh, nice. I like colored glass. I guess. Oh, they're so cute. I love it. I like this one too. These are my favorite. I love these. Where would I put this? Oh, this kind of reminds me of like the little crafts you do as a kid with pipe cleaners. This year. Oh, the pillows. Oh, sorry. You want to look at those? Look at the pillows, they're the best.
they have neon lights. I don't know what color they are. Probably orange. It'd be cool if they had like some orange, some purple though. But we got cats, ghost, bats. Oh, and then boo, that's cute. up in there. Hello fall. Oh, I love this. Halloween nutcrackers. Kind of touches a girly. It's a cute ghost pillow. Oh, I do like this too. ghosts, but I especially like the cats. Perfect. I don't know what <laughs> perfect for what, but it is. Oh, this is perfect. Like if you had a coffee shop like an autumnal themed coffee shop for like a little tic-tac-toe game so cute obsessed it's more pink and cream and brown I love the color scheme so pretty love that I mean, honestly, love all of them, but goodness, get cozy. Woodland critters. Look at how adorable. The 
felt stuff hits me in the feels. Acorns. Pie. So cute. It doesn't get better. like transitional summer into fall maybe. If you think I'm crazy for wearing this sweater, it's because I am. I did not wear this while I was at the store. It's definitely too hot out. It's still July, I know. Um, we're getting way ahead of ourselves, but you know, that's part of like the influencer life is you kind of want to show things that are happening in stores before they happen or like the moment that they happen. So that way people have time to actually go and experience it themselves before we're already well into fall and everything's sold out. It's just the way it goes. It's hustle culture. So <laughs> you're just gonna have to bear with the fact that we are doing full blown fall in July. It's summerween, okay? We can call it summerween. If you're ready for fall in the summer and you decorate early and you embody the pumpkin spice life, I think that that is totally fine. There are some people who dress up Santa Claus in shorts and vacation sunglasses and all this stuff. There's some people who keep their Christmas tree up year round. You know, whatever makes you happy in terms of seasonality of things, you do you. No judgment. It's okay. That being said, I try to keep fall from coming officially into my life and being full-blown autumn until September 1st, maybe the week leading up to September 1st, so the last week of August, I might start getting autumnal, I might start pulling out my scents and staging things and kind of getting them ready so that when September 1st rolls around, it's already in place. But that doesn't mean that I can't start shopping now and getting excited for it and still feeling kind of a little bit autumnal even though it's not here yet. So what did you think about all of that crazy stuff at Michael's? I mean, I just could not believe it when I walked in the store and saw the array and the assortment of the different collections that they had for both Halloween and fall and they were still putting them out even. I've mentioned in a few videos before, so my sister works at Marshall's, dangerous, so dangerous, but she also does freight at Michael's too, so also equally dangerous. I know that's not normally something that would be in your control, but man, highly recommend if you have a family member that works in some type of store retail, take advantage of that because not only do they know like what the sales are and when the best time to buy something is, but they usually also have employee discounts. So my sister, my mom and I all hit Michael's. She was able to use her employee discount on top of some of these sales that they already had going on. So we were able to get the double bargain in that way, so I feel really lucky. If you yourself are considering working in a retail store, at least even just for seasonally, um, it's a great way to get a little extra deal. Before I jump into a haul of what I got at Michael's, I just wanted to show you really quick a couple things I actually got from Dollar Tree. They mainly just had fall florals at the moment, and I don't blame them. They still had their summer stuff out. Totally fine. I'm not rushing them or anything, but I did want to just show you these things that I got. I got this mainly because it was like a nice fall color. I thought this would be good for taking like product photos on, but also like if you do chartreuse, charcuterie boards or any type of like serving at parties and stuff. They've got some really nice simple um, serveware and it's nice because these are plastic so if you're transporting and you don't want it to break or anything or something valuable you know you don't want to take grandma's finest china or anything so nice for just an inexpensive but still attractive looking kind of plate. So I got some nice fall and also that'd be nice for like winter and Christmas too but some nice colors for that kind of thing. I got these really pretty glass things. They're like apothecary bottles kind of from Dollar Tree and I don't think they were from this year's fall. I don't think they're new. Um, I don't go to the Dollar Tree very often so this could be from actually last fall and it was just like leftover stock perhaps but um, this is what they look like. I just found them behind their candle section, kind of deep in the back of the store. Maybe they'll bring it up front later once it's actually time for fall stuff to be on feature, but I've got these nice little vase 
type apothecary glasses. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put anything in them or not, probably not, um, but I do have a display of shelves when you first walk into the front door of the house. You can see all of the decorations on them, so I thought this would be really attractive on those shelves. And then here is a yellow one. What really makes it autumnal are these cute little leaf shapes for the lids. And then I got it in this aqua glass as well. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that really quick. Now let's move on to what I got at Marshalls. So we've got three different categories of things. I can put a video over here, but I actually have this room and we turned it into her library and we kind of had an idea that it was going to be the sunflower room. As you can see here, it's mainly a green room. So we call it the green room all the time, but it's essentially a library room and we change out kind of what the theme is seasonally or that's the idea of what we were gonna do. We just made it last year. So it's only had this one theme in it so far. The main theme of it for spring and early summer was strawberries. And then what we wanted it to be is a sunflower room mainly for summer into fall all the way until winter. And so this is the time if you need sunflower themed decor, go to Michael's. They have so many beautiful sunflower themed decorations. And so pretty soon, since this is perfect for summer into fall, we're actually gonna be maybe this weekend decorating it and changing it up from strawberries into sunflowers. So as you saw from that little clip from Instagram that I showed you, the couch has a couch cover on it that's pink to kind of go with the strawberry theme, made it very girly and fun and something a little bit unique and contrasting. I actually off of Amazon bought the same couch cover except in like a cornflower yellow golden kind of color. So hopefully that goes really well with fall and summer. And so we're gonna change that couch cover and then I got, look at how pretty. So this is a long kind of lumbar cushion and it's got sunflowers on it. And I like this detailing on it. It's got like kind of this nubby stuff going on. So it's got the sunflowers on the front and then it's just like a simple kind of corn yellow on the back. So excited about that. There is a desk in that room. And so far the desk doesn't have too much of a purpose other than a writing desk, but it also is near like a big bay window that we made mainly for the cats to hang out that kind of overlooks our garden boxes. So since it's mainly a desk for writing as opposed to like computer usage or anything, we got this cute little sunflower caddy that she's going to put her stationery and like maybe some pencils and stuff in. How cute is that? So it's like a little tin basket. We made sure to grab a lot of cream items because that's a really good kind of neutral tied together color that helps bridge the bright colors of the green and the yellow as well so it's kind of like that common ground that they both look good so we made sure to get some cream stuff so we got the cute little tin basket for her stationery it sit right on her desk and then I'm not sure if this is going to go on the desk or the bookshelf or what but we got this old-fashioned like a tea tin and it says sunflower market seeds blooms and bulbs and we just like that kind of vintage farmhouse style um, so pretty, like I said, either on the desk or maybe the bookshelf. So in this bay window that we built for our cats, we have kind of the main level of it where the cats sit, but they also built like this glass shelf that goes halfway up since it's a really large one. And so that shelf is perfect for putting up stuff that you don't want the cats to reach because they can't really get up there. So that's where we can put decorative things that are either chewables or breakables. So that way it's out of reach of the cat, but still in plain view for everyone to look at. So we picked up this super long, Long and fluffy garland of sunflowers. You can't even see me anymore. I'm uh, very impressed with the quality of this. It's so fluffy and full and I really love that. I was thinking probably on that bay window shelf to have it kind of spread out like this as if it were on top of a fireplace. And then we can kind of like put taller things every now and then. We already have a vase with sunflowers in there up there already. So that would kind of look pretty, but isn't that nice? It's just so fluffy and cheerful. I love this so much. Look at this cream colored pumpkin. I think this will also go in that bay window. It's a little bit on the heavy side, so um, don't want that falling from a high place. So definitely gonna keep that out of reach of the cats. So it's battery operated, so we can turn it on and off, but there's a little try me. See, look at this. It's so cozy, I love it. So right above the couch, we actually put a wreath. It's like a leafy one with strawberries in it. So perfect for the spring summer, but we got one that would be perfect for the sunflower theme. And here it is. So once again, we've got some of that kind of tie together cream colored flowers. And then of course our sunflowers. And this is a nice kind of sage green color, which too, by the way, the walls are more of a muted green. It's not like super vibrant. So um, I think that's gonna be perfect above the couch. So that's what I know for sure is going into the green room or the sunflower library. And so next up we have some little, 
I'm so excited to show you. So next up we have some more woodland themed items. This is either going to go, gosh, I don't know, probably the living room or the dining room. The first friend I would like you to meet is little Miss Higgins. <laughs> Oops, Miss Higgins, you lost one of your leaves. So Miss Higgins is a cute little hedgehog. Her name is actually inspired by one of the characters in one of my favorite little woodland autumnal kid books, The Heartwood Hotel. Please read it if you haven't. It's a three book series and they are adorable. I don't wanna to give too much away, but there is a wedding in the third book and she actually is a porcupine. And instead of a wedding dress, she is decorated with flowers on all of her quills. So this is not a porcupine, this is a hedgehog. But the way that her little hedgehog quills kind of reminded me of that story when she decorated herself for her wedding. So I named her Miss Higgins. That's actually the name of one of the characters in the book. Not the one that got married, but it just kind of reminded me of that. So that's why I pulled that name from that book series. So, so cute. And she's got like a little flower in her hair. So the next little autumnal critter I want you to meet is named Charlotte. She is this most adorable little pig and she's got her plaid skirt on and her matching bow. We love her. Her name is actually inspired by Charlotte's Web, even though Charlotte is the spider. Um, we know that in Charlotte's Web, the pig's name is Wilbur, which is a boy. And so this is a little girl. So we gave her the name Charlotte. And then the last two friends I want you to meet are matching. At first I thought they were squirrels because they kind of have like little squirrel tails a little bit, but they're actually foxes. They are foxes and they've got matching outfits. So her name is Cinnamon and his name is Juniper. Aren't they cute? To the little forest party, she's bringing a bouquet of flowers and he is bringing a pumpkin, of course. So um, I imagine that they might be siblings and they had their mom dress them in matching little outfits. Here is another pumpkin. I love pumpkins, can you tell? Um, I got another light up pumpkin here and this one might go in the sunflower room. I'm not sure yet where this will go. The colors are a little more vibrant and bold than what I really think of for that room. So it might go better in the living room, but I'm not sure. But it also lights up. Look at how pretty that is. That's gonna be so cozy when like all of the lights are off and these are just glowing. And then look at what I got for myself. I bet you know what I'm gonna be using these for. So this is an oak leaf fairy light curtain. So I've got fairy lights here. So I've got light curtain that is leafless and now I have one that is leaf full. So this next item I think might be my favorite and uh, it's not really what I would have expected to be my favorite, but I literally started, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I literally started to tear up in the store when I saw them. My mom had spotted them first and she called me over. She's like, Melissa, come look at these. And when I saw it, I just got a little bit emotional seeing them. I was just was so excited. And I think it's because they remind me of my childhood, but this is, I think the winning item for me. Look at them, they're scarecrows. <laughs> It's like a garland of scarecrows and leaves made out of felt fabric. I just, uh, I don't know. I didn't know that this was my vibe, but I guess it is. So growing up, I actually had this paper scarecrow that my mom probably like ordered from a catalog or something. You know, this was the 90s. So ordering from catalogs for your decorations was pretty common back then. So we had this big puffy rocking chair that I would sit and listen to my cassette tapes. And I would sit there for hours and listen to music. I was always really into that. And whenever it was fall, we would put this um, scarecrow on the wall. And that would be what I looked at for a long time every day during the fall. And so we also lived near a city park. And so I would always be very aware of the leaves changing and just kind of how that all felt and it just felt so autumnal and I mean even just at age three and four I really had this kind of strong sense in my mind of scarecrows and just like the cutesy ones. I also was a huge Wizard of Oz fan and I of course loved the scarecrow character and so I think I also thought a little bit more about cute scarecrows um, because of the Wizard of Oz. I was even Dorothy for Halloween one year. Maybe I can find a picture of that. If so I'll show you. And Definitely of all, I think that my favorite decorations I saw were the garlands that had like chunky decorations on them made out of felt and fabric. Like there was some acorn ones that you probably saw in the walkthrough. There were some Halloween ones as well. I would like to get, so far the Halloween is not on sale yet. It was just the fall stuff was 40% off. We'll be doing Halloween shopping later perhaps. I actually feel like I was in pretty great need of a revamp of fall decorations because we've been using the same ones for years and years, which is really great because then they have all of the 
those association with memories tied to them. It's also good too because those were the decorations that we had bought when we were in our old house and so we just transferred them over to this house not really knowing what is going to go where. So it's nice to buy things with the intention of it living in this house if that makes sense. So the last category is actually some outdoor decorations and hopefully I have enough space right here to be able to show you these but we got some yard stakes. I was there but I was getting footage but my mom actually picked these out with my sister and so I haven't even seen all of these quite yet other than just kind of glancing at the pile of them when I took them down to film. <sighs> Sunflower steak like this and this is nice because they've got these kind of already um, Well, they've got bases like this I don't know what you would call that so that you can just like really easily push them into the ground So we've got that one that looks like that This says welcome happy harvest on it. It's got like a wheelbarrow with some pumpkins in it I love the orange paired with the cream and this has like little corn husks so cute. Good choice. Good choice. Pumpkin lovers come to my house. Actually, please don't come to my house. So this one says, hello fall. And I really like this gold maple leaf detail on the top. This is kind of similar to that first one I showed you, except it's got like some little ones attached to the bottom. Oh, they're kind of like similar kind of shape, but this one is more of a burnt orange color. That's really pretty. I like that. And then this one's similar color, but it's just the single flower. And then we've got the two little guys. Anyways, thank you for bearing with me with this this slightly off season preamp to fall. This is not officially when my fall content was supposed to start, but we're just going with it because the stores keep bringing us fall stuff. We're gonna probably go take a look at it. So that is everything that I purchased. Actually, that is not true. There are a few things that I did not show you because I'm going to be including them into my giveaway, which is coming up. I'm gonna be posting the rules for that sometime in August. So be watching for that. I have a few fun tricks up my sleeve for this year's autumnal giveaway. There are going to be two different prizes. So um, I won't tell you anymore for now. Just stay tuned. Thank you so much for coming with me on this little fall shopping trip and I will see you in my next video. Bye.